Hello everyone, welcome back to Lindsay's Builds. So I thought I'd give you another update on the Art Royal. Um, <clears throat> I've got all the decals on now on the deck and uh, I've finished all the planes. Uh, the planes turned out better than I expected they would do. So uh, I'll just give you a quick look. On the ship itself, it's a huge thing. It really is. And I can't really kind of move it around on my bench. So I've done it at an angle, so you can kind of see. So there she is. That's the Art Royal in uh, 1350 scale uh, by I Love Kits. So we've got like the... Um, various swordfishes from there to there um, then we've got the uh, blackburns and then we've got some full miles on the back I think there is too many on the ship I mean I've still got some laying around that I've built There's, I've just built too many of them so that there, there'll be some there for future projects or when I build the dio I could have some probably flying kind of round it so uh, I suppose it's paid off in a little in a, in a kind of a little way to build the extra ones because I could use them in the dio so like I said um, with them took off so uh, circling around the ship so yeah it's uh, it turned out a lot better than I expected it would I suppose the patience is um, kind of like paid off so I can't spin it round on my uh, on my bench because it's just too big but uh, it's like I say I'll put it at an angle I can perhaps get it at an angle so you can probably see the other side it's kind of like turn it round that's as far as I can go so yeah <clears throat> but um, I have enjoyed the build um, it's not a bad kit to put together uh, this is not the kind of final reveal because obviously it's going in its dio um, I've got to do a little bit of weathering I'm not going to I'm not going to heavily weather it and um, so yeah I've got to put a couple a few of the catch fences in uh, down the back here like, like wires but uh, yeah I'm not too sure whether I've got to put all of them in um, with having planes on the deck you're not going to really see them anyway so I mean if it's in a takeoff position the one at the front here would be kind of like flat down in the deck anyway so We'll see when that comes to the part when I finally finish putting it in the dio. But it's like I said, it's not a bad kit to put together. Um, the hull, because it's a two-piece hull, um, there is a little bit of kind of, uh, how can I put it, it doesn't quite meet together, so you've got to fettle with it and uh, get the two halves together but once i got it together there was very little filler that i put in the bottom uh, there was a little bit round at the front here that i had to fill because this bit didn't quite meet the deck um you have to shave a lot of the because where it sits in like slots on these parts here um it's kind of like uh, here and same with the other side there's a little bit here that you have to kind of sand out so your deck will drop because otherwise you'd, you if you don't do it you'd, your deck just bows like that and there's uh, you have to do it the same with the rear end it's only where it all slots in but other than that once you've done that you just take a little bit out of time you know, just 
spend a little bit of time, have patience with it. Don't try and ram the deck down because it just won't pop up anyway. So just spend a little bit of time sanding away on the whole parts so you, your deck will just drop in. It's, it's worth that hour and a couple of hours just messing around with it. Uh, the photo etch, uh, you get quite a bit of photo etch with the kit. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Uh, photo etch is not bad to work with. So that wasn't too bad. So other than that, yeah, it's it's just a fantastic kit, really. It's not bad at all. I quite I quite enjoyed building it actually. It was uh, it was pretty good. But it's like I say, I've got to do a little bit of weathering, but I won't heavily weather it. So I don't like my ships heavily weathered. <clears throat> but other than that, yeah, it's a great kit. It's brilliant. It's not bad at all. I do recommend it if anybody wants to build one, as long as you've got the time and the patience. But uh, yeah, pretty good. I've enjoyed it. So we'll go back to the main camera. I shall take some, once I get it in the dio, uh, get that finished. Um, that'll probably take me about 10 days to make. So, um, yeah. So, like, once I've got it all completed, the dio finished, I will uh, take some photographs and uh, we'll get some photographs up with it as well. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's just it, really. <laughs> so, like I said, the, the, the dio's next. I'm going to have a kind of, like, couple of days break away from it, uh, do something else, and then I shall start the diary. So there we go, guys. Uh, don't forget, to, uh, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to the new subscribers. And uh, if you do come across my channel uh, and, you like, and you like the content, please like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated if you did. So uh, we shall see you on the next video, hopefully when it's complete, or I might do some videos on me doing the dio. So I'm not too sure whether I'm going to use uh, resin or I'm going to go for the old Banco 4 trick. Not too sure yet. It depends. So we'll say goodbye and everybody stay safe and we'll see you again.